I am Mei Shan, Clinical Director at AP Singapore. My work with children with autism has been an amazing journey. The greatest fulfillment I get from working with ASD children and their families is when the child's disruptive behaviours are eradicated and I see them a happier child and more ready to engage with others and learn. During my course of work with children with autism, I have seen and worked on a wide range of disruptive behaviours. These can range from passive behaviours like flapping hands, eye gazing, scripting, saying things over and over again, to tantrums like shouting, screaming, banging, hands, legs, to more severe aggressive behaviours like hitting, biting, head banging, and so on. The aggression can be self-injuring and or injuring others. Most of these behaviours are learnt because of what is happening during and after the behaviours occur. Since they are learnt, then it only makes sense that it can be unlearnt. However, unlearning behaviours may not be a quick fix for various reasons. It takes time. But more importantly, in order to change and manage behaviours correctly, we need to apply the right strategies. It is critical to address disruptive behaviours early, if not the child's learning and development will be greatly affected. The impact can be high, as the child will not be able to function meaningfully in their home, the community and in school. Also, as the child gets older, it gets harder to change behaviours. Join us at the upcoming conference in June, as I will be sharing more information on disruptive behaviours and effective strategies to change and manage them.